Hello everybody, we've got an answer to prayer, another one. It is Friday, September 18th, and it's 2.37 p.m. Now let me see what time this email came through. Oh my goodness, yesterday at 11.38 p.m., so after I went to bed. Um, she, well, that's one. Um, hold on, I don't remember the one she said. It's raining out in Oregon. They finally get rain, whatever time it was. But this video is what I was going to share because uh, it says, it's short, um, crews prepare for changing weather as they battle Santiam Canyon wildfires. So now they're going to go from one terrible disaster, if you want to call it that, I would, all those wildfires uh, burning down homes and such, and now they're going to get a lot of rain, which is good, it will put everything out, and it will dampen the wood well, so it can't catch fire again easily, but listen to this, I'm going to play this. Flash flooding. Fox 12's Brenda Kelly joins us now from Estacada, one of the cities hit hard by evacuations that's now on a flash flood watch. Brenna? Well, Nora, it's difficult for many of these people to wrap their minds around the possibility of flooding. But despite all that's gone on here, people say they are ready. They're prepared for the next weather event. We've been through a tragedy. And it's going to take a long time to recover from this. Estacada Mayor Sean Drinkwine says around 100 structures are gone from this community. That includes barns and outbuildings decimated by fire. But the next weather event is already brewing. The National Weather Service issued a flash flood watch for portions of the Cascade foothills, including portions of Clackamas County. I'd want to just make sure that people coming into the area understand the burned areas because there's lack of vegetation in those drainages could increase flood potential and um did he say lack of education in those drainage areas let me back that up a little there's lack of vegetation in those drainages could increase flood potential and um flood severity while the incoming rain will continue do you suppose he meant that? <laughs> Lack of education in those drainage areas. Like the people don't know how to deal with drainage areas? I don't know. You to help moderate fire behavior, it won't put the fire out. And the thunderstorms can produce downpours and possibly localized mudslides and debris flow from recently burned areas. Alan Sinclair, the Southwest Incident Management Team Commander on the fire, says you'll want to keep an eye on your home if you live near drainages or washes that typically flow when it rains because you could see significantly more water come through. Homes located below steep slopes in and near the mouths of canyons may also be at serious risk from rapidly moving flash flooding and debris flow. Officials say listen for unusual sounds like trees cracking or boulders knocking together that may precede a landslide and travel with extreme caution. Hey, people talk, yeah. The Estacada mayor says he believes his community would be ready for this type of event. The rains coming in some aspects will make people feel calmer. Knowing there's a fire out there and there's rain coming seems to, to put a damper on that mood of, uh, of loss. And deputies tell me the sheriff's office brought these tents you're looking at right now for volunteers in advance of the rain, the thunderstorm, so they can continue this community donation site. Meanwhile, firefighters are still working hard out there on that fire, but they are also prepared for potential flooding. They do have escape routes uh, planned where they're at just in case of an emergency. For now, reporting live in Estacada, Brenna Kelly, Fox 12 Oregon. I'm watching out. Okay, so there you have it. Still raining, still fire still going in some areas. It must be raining in others. It's almost unbelievable, isn't it? And and again, this is KPTV Fox 12 Oregon. Okay, that's the name of the channel. And they did the film. And they titled it, Crews 
prepare for changing weather as they battle Santiam Canyon. I, I don't know how to say that. Santiam, maybe Santiam Canyon wildfires. Five thumbs down. Now, why would you give that a thumbs down? They're just reporting what's going on. Unless it's because they said there's a lack of education in the drainage areas. That that I don't understand. But anyway, I guess I'll leave it with you with that. Okay? All right. You all be blessed. Stay safe. I praise the Lord for the rain. And now I just pray that nobody gets covered under a mudslide. I mean, it's like seriously if it's not one thing it's another and we're in those days if it's not one thing it's going to be another but remember jesus calms the chaos yes he does and don't you forget it okay bye for now i'll talk to you later